Valerie, I was at Broad Street Market earlier and vendors were there with trucks and boxes packing up everything from fridges to pots and pans and major equipment. For all of them, the present is devastating and the future is uncertain. We're all struggling right now. We're all trying to wrap our brains around it. Vendors at Broad Street Market packing what they can save. We're moving all of our stuff out, which there's a lot of stuff that has accumulated over the years. Ryan Hummer, owner of RG Hummer Meats and Cheese, has been at the market 21 years now. And to have it, um, you know, go up in flames is a terrible tragedy. A fire ripping through the brick building, causing serious damage. Uh, devastating. Uh, I feel like a, you know, a piece of the community was lost. I was speechless when I got down here to check on everything. Matthew Dreyer works in the stone building. That building escaped the fire, but the destruction still hits him hard. I walk through that building every morning before I start my day. Well, these are not just vendors, but friends and family of mine. I've been here for five years. Now vendors are left to salvage what they can breaking down equipment, taking down signs, and packing up their livelihood in boxes and trucks. It's going to be a tough go. A difficult loss, but business owners like Hummer say there's a silver lining. It's just sad to see all this stuff come out, but what I can say is I'm super thankful for all the people that showed support to us. The community stepping up to support the market that's been a fixture in Harrisburg for over a century. This is a community hub in the city, so I'm hoping the community rallies behind us and pushes us through to get this place right. Recovery won't be easy, but state and local officials are already working to rebuild. Our Department of Agriculture, under the leadership of Secretary Redding, is going to work with these vendors to figure out how we can keep them in business while the rebuild is taking place. Taking small steps to uh, you know, find a place for our vendors so they can not lose their livelihood and continue, uh, but it'll be a long journey. The big question for many of these vendors is what's next? One employee told me it could take up to a year to rebuild that space. In the meantime, some vendors hope the market could set up a temporary outdoor space, but right now a lot is uncertain. In the studio, Sonica Barco, Alicia, back to you.